As it's stated in our school song, Union Memorial School is a happy school, right up until our dismissal. Three o'clock, time to wait for the bus. I think it's telling that this picture says time to wait for the bus instead of time to go home. Three o'clock, racket's edge, second grade pickups at Mace. Judy, could you tell me what you find most challenging about dismissal? My biggest concern or challenge with dismissal is the kids come flying down the hall. I stand there, I try to do the duty in the hallway, slow them down. It just seems a little bit of chaos. And I, I know it's hard because we want to get them out of the classrooms. I'm just not quite sure if we could do it in a little more organized way. And then when they get down to the front of the building, it's just kind of, we've got to have more adults down there. It just makes it hard and the kids are waiting for a while. Thank you. 302, first grade pickups. Getting a group of first graders to wait for close to 25 minutes for their bus is often challenging. Some eat snack, some dance, some read or draw. Computers are often a choice, but no matter what, it's just unfocused time. 305 bus 12. 305 kindergarten pickups. I chose to examine my school's current dismissal routine. After surveying all professional staff in the building, I found that the vast majority would like to see some change occur with how we dismiss our students. After meeting with my building principal and collecting data on bus arrival and departure times, as well as how long it takes to load students on a given bus, I realized there were many factors that affect our current dismissal routine that I was unaware of. For instance, we share buses with our middle school. Since they release students earlier than we do, the buses do a full drop-off run before arriving at UMS. This factor alone has the potential to have a negative trickle-down effect. Secondly, two of our buses cannot leave until Mallet's Bay students arrive at our building because they need to make a bus transfer. Additionally, we just do not have a space large enough to house our entire student population safely while buses arrive. This is why, for the time being, students wait in their own classroom until their bus is called. Luckily, we haven't had to deal with their winter clothing too much. I feel awful when they have to sit there all bundled up and wait. 311 bus 13. Three fifteen van two bus ten. Ah, uh, a calmer choice. But will they remember to clean up when they're frantically packing for their bus? 321 bus 17. After meeting with teachers in my building, what we've decided to do as a next step is try a pilot. The first grade team will be the first to pilot this for two weeks. Each teacher will have one day that it is their responsibility to run dismissal for that grade level. For example, I might house all of the first grade students on Monday, my teammate might on Tuesday, etc. We'll also include professional staff in this so that there's one day a week where all four grade level members are not responsible for dismissal and therefore could meet to plan. 3.30, kids are gone.